as family members and longtime loyalists are selected to accompany his boss Trump. President Trump brought his daughter Ivanka Trump and son-in-law Jared Kushner to meet Pope Francis on his trip to Rome, but left his long-suffering spokesman Sean Spicer behind. Trump included close family members and some longtime aides in the meeting, in a gesture being interpreted as a demonstration of his commitment to loyalists. If Spicer, a practicing Catholic, was stung by being left out, he didn't reveal it. He provided no comment when CNN published a story about signals sent by who got included in the historic meeting. Asked about Spicer's absence, a source told the network, Wow. That's all he wanted adding it should very much be taken as a slight. Adding to the sting, predecessor Robert Gibbs got to meet the Pope Benedict when President Obama visited early in his presidency, as did Dennis McDonough, then a national security aide. Both got to kiss the Pope's ring. Trump clashed with Pope Francis during the campaign, but expressed his deep appreciation for the papal audience he received. I won't forget what you said, he told the Pope after their meeting. Accompanying him was wife Melania Trump, who is a Catholic and who brought along a rosary to have it blessed. Also getting an introduction was longtime security aide Keith Schiller, who followed Trump to the White House, and Hope Hicks, who served as Trump's spokeswoman during his campaign and joined his White House staff. Also present was longtime aide and White House social media director Dan Scavino, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, and National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster. Those are the people that are running the White House, one Republican official told, commenting on the in-crowd who got to meet the Pope. Others missing out included Chief of Staff Reince Priebus, who flew back to Washington after Trump's visit to Saudi Arabia. Advisor Stephen Bannon, whose Breitbart News wrote stories critical of the Pope during his clash with Trump, also returned to Washington. Counselor to the President Kellyanne Conway stayed behind during the trip. Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner both got to meet the Pope. Trump's family members have featured prominently on his first overseas trip. Ivanka and Jared were a constant presence at Trump's side in Israel. Both joined him on his visit to the Western Wall, although in keeping with their Orthodox Jewish faith and the sex rules for the holy site, the men and women prayed separately but they jumped off the trip in Rome, spending an extra day touring the city as they prepared to return back to Washington, where both are White House advisors to the President.